And good evening, y'all. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly coming to you with Twilight Talks. Twilight Talks. And uh, as we are in Matthew 24, uh, last night we continued our study in the book of Revelation as we opened up a couple more of the seals um, in, in Revelation and uh, chapter 6. And we're going to start at verse 6. Uh, and, and go through a few verses here in Matthew 24 to draw out some truth, ideally, uh, to, to aid you in understanding the Word of God. Um, Tyler, if you will, go on ahead and read verses uh, 6 through 8. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. You know, <clears throat> we live in a, a unique time in human history. Uh, the rapidity, the speed with which we have news and information with our cell phones. Um, you know, that we, <clears throat> you know, I remember as a kid, uh, that, you know, your mom might call three or four houses around town and say, hey, have you seen Brian and the other kids? And then word might get to you after like 30 minutes or an hour, you know, someone, hey, your mom's looking for you. And then you better hot foot at home. Um, you know, and nowadays, you know, we're like, that text didn't send in point one second. Ah, I hate this slow thing. Um, yeah, we forget. We forget. For many of us in our lifetime, uh, we forget you know that was how we dialed and uh, and 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 how we had communication say even forty or fifty years ago was extremely fast compared to two thousand years ago and he said, what does that have to do with all this?" Nations have been going against each other pretty much like they are even right now today. Like, apparently since, you know, the days of Nimrod. We'll just say after the flood since the days of Nimrod. Um, the thing is, if you lived in China, you didn't know or care about a war in North Africa or in the British Isles, what we call the British Isles. And nobody in the British Isles cared about which Native American tribes over on this side of the world. They didn't care if it was the Iroquois or the Chakashaka or whatever, whatever names. No one cared because they didn't know. You know, you might have 50 years of peace in your part of the world, but 3,000 miles away, separated by an ocean, um, you know, they might have been engaged in genocide and you wouldn't have known. And, and so today's fear mongers say, well, there's wars and rumors of wars. And that proves that it proves nothing. Jesus says these things must come to pass. What else? Nation has to rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in various places. This is what we saw last week in Ezekiel with the uh, fourfold. Uh, method that God uses in judgment against nations. We saw it uh, two weeks ago in Revelation. We touched on it last night. And Jesus says these are the beginning of sorrows. That doesn't mean we're even close to the end. You know? <clears throat> and I'm just going to use a simple analogy. Um, that's like after a husband and a wife have a very close evening together. And uh, he looks at his wife and says, All right, honey, it's time for me to build the crib. The baby's almost here. What? And, and any woman would have to, any woman who looks at her man and goes, What? Dude, seriously? That's like nine months away at least. You know? And he said, The beginning. The beginning. The beginning. There's a reason it's called the beginning, because if it's called the beginning, guess what it is not, Tyler? It's not the middle or the end. It's not the middle or the end. And you say, no, uh, go on ahead and continue verse 9. 
and we'll take 9 through 11. He says, Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. That's to the four apostles. You realize the only person who didn't, that we have no record of dying a horrible, painful death is John. And John was hated pretty much everywhere he went. Thomas, uh, you know, Thomas, uh, tradition records that Thomas was run through by spears in India. <laughs> you know, tradition records that Peter was crucified upside down. James literally lost his head in the book of Acts. Um, you say, how did Andrew die? I don't remember how Andrew is recorded to have died or recorded to have died. But I mean, people got where they hated the apostles and the Christians. And they went through tribulations. And, and so it had immediate application. What, what was right there. And he says, then many will be offended and will betray one another and will hate one another. Now the then many, some people think that pertains to the world. No, this pertains to the church. You have people in the church turning on each other, giving each other up to authorities. And you say, oh, well, I don't know. Read, read the letters to the churches at Galatia. Read, read the letter to the Galatians. Read the letters to the church at Corinth. I mean, they had some troubles sometimes in the ancient church. And then read verse 11 for us, Tyler. And then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. Now this is the third time Jesus has warned about what? False prophecies or false prophets. No. What's our D word? Deception. Deceive. Deception. Remember, verse 4, take heed no one deceives you. Verse 5, and I know why you say what you said. Many will come and will try to deceive many. Many are going to be deceived. And here he says again, many false prophets will rise up and deceive, deceive. many. And how, what are they going to use to deceive? Stuff about the end times. Stuff about the person of Jesus. And that's why you have to get this stuff right. Because if you miss this, now, it's one thing if you never know it to ever get it wrong. But if you know something about it and you get it wrong and you're deceived, it can lead you places you don't want to go eternally. And uh, and so what he says here, this is stuff that's going to happen in the lifetime of the apostles. And he says, and this is just the beginning of the difficulties that are going to come in answer to y'all's questions that you ask. Do you have some other thoughts on this, Brother Tyler? No, sir. All right. Well, with that, then, we bid you good night, and uh, we will pick up, Lord willing, we'll pick up in verse 12 tomorrow evening. Have a good night, and go in the blessing of the Lord.